Farmanek's dedication to science leads a new revolution in the way we measure antioxidant status in our bodies. The Farmanex biophotonic scanner is the first tool that uses light to non-invasively measure carotenoid antioxidant levels in the skin. Favorite guest, cancer prevention pioneer, Dr. William Lee. Dr. Lee, thank you very much for joining us as always. Talk thank about you. antioxidants and how they prevent cancer. Well, antioxidants are natural protective molecules that Mother Nature has laced into a large number of foods. Mm -hmm. And there are literally thousands of different types of antioxidants, but they all do pretty much the same thing. They protect our DNA in healthy cells from the type of damage caused by free radicals, which are harmful chemicals that our body absorbs from things like cigarette smoke or pollution or fried foods or other sources of the environment. So antioxidants protect our DNA against the kind of damage that can cause cancer. So you see why it's so important to both of us and all doctors are concerned about preventing cancer that you have enough. So everyone in our audience today is wearing their antioxidant health on their sleeve. All wearing different color t-shirts. Before the show, we gave everyone the ultimate nutritional lie detector test. This revolutionary device, it's lying right here next to me, measures the level of carotenoids in your skin, which can help indicate the overall antioxidant health in your body. It's a completely non-invasive test. Did it hurt you to get? No. Right. no. Good, good. I haven't had mine yet. I'm having it next. So we're going to see if it hurts me. But it takes about 90 seconds, and I am sta I'm completely astounded by these results. Let me come on over here. We're going to show it to everybody. So. If you look at the, this, is, this is how it's supposed to be read out, by the way. We've got lowest to highest, 10,000 up to 50,000 units, right? Or, or, or these figures give us a rough idea. You want to be up here in the blues. Now, let's see how you did. Are you ready? I don't want to see any reds, any oranges. Let's see the numbers for the audience. You're all down here. Can I tell you something? You're America. You're a cross-section of everyone watching the show right now. Let me just go through these because it completely blew my mind. We have almost 40% of the audience in the lowest category possible. I actually didn't think we'd find anybody there. Not naively thought that at least we're getting enough of these antioxidants into our bodies, they wouldn't be there. Another 40% had the orange category, which is still, to me, a, a dangerously low level. And we only had a total of about 6% ha having greens and blues. Put your hands up if you're greens and blues. Let me just see. It's like, yeah, I mean, there are a couple folks. But, you know, it's not many. Congratulations, by the way. Yeah. So the question then becomes, you know, why is it they're having these problems? And it's not surprising because we're getting on average about two to three servings of fruit per day and vegetables. It's not enough. And we know that. We, what do we talk about? Five, seven, nine big numbers of servings, fistful size. So I haven't had the test yet. So before I give you a hard time, let's see how I'm doing. Uh-oh. 75,000. What will your last 10 years look like? Will you be quick enough for a game of tag with your grandchild? Strong enough to embrace every moment? Will you grow old with vitality? Or get old with disease? It's time to decide. The average Canadian will spend their last 10 years in sickness. Change your future.